Welcome back to the show, and right now I'd like to welcome a very special guest, former LSU baseball head coach and athletic director, Skip Bertman. Coach, thanks so much for coming on the show. We really Thank appreciate you, it. Thank you, Patrick. Uh, Pleasure. How are you keeping busy in retirement? I do uh, consulting. I do speeches, radio, TV, meet and greets, and for several uh, companies. Enough to stay busy, but not every single day. So it's not too crazy? Not too crazy. <laughs> you still staying involved with LSU? We see you around. Uh, yeah, I do. I uh, uh, go to all the football games, of course, and I like to see Johnny Jones, and naturally I go to the basketball games, but I, the other coaches too. I've been to volleyball and uh, watch, I'll even take in a golf match uh, from time to time. So uh, it's been uh, it's a great journey and the department's in great shape. It's good to see. And of course, I'm sure you attend as many baseball games as you can. I do. I see, the, <laughs> I see it's about every baseball game. really enjoy that. Well, speaking of that, uh, I, I, your legacy speaks for itself with the LSU baseball program, the amount of national championships and just the legacy with that program. But to talk about recent, this last year, you got your name as Skip Bertman Field at Alex Box Stadium. Just talk about that experience. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, you know, in a lifetime of uh, halls of fame or other kinds of awards, I think this is right at the top. But in reality, you can't uh, take much of the credit. I mean, all the credit is due to some, you know, really good athletes and some great coaches that uh, I was fortunate to work with. Uh, but that's a lot of fun for me because I'm going to be at the ballpark regardless. So when my grandkids are here, you know, some of them will just go to Papa's Field. <laughs> so that's good. Maybe they should put that on the scoreboard, Papa's Field, right. instead. <laughs> but you mentioned stability, and uh, that's also something you could argue that Paul Maneri has brought to the baseball oh, program. Sure. Especially last year, they're uh, one of the best regular seasons in LC baseball history. That's correct. But didn't. Didn't exactly end, I'm sure, the way that they would have liked. Well, actually, in that regard, I just spoke to someone this morning. We were talking about uh, the World Series is really uh, unique as opposed to the Final Four or a National Football Playoff. So Coach Maneri, who would never complain, <laughs> gets the worst draw you know, that he could possibly have in getting a one nothing ball game where his pitcher pitches zero earned runs and he loses one nothing. But then on the next day, he gets the champion of the whole thing and loses two to one <laughs> and he's gone. See, whereas in the other half with the other four teams, not knocking anyone, even Mississippi State wasn't as strong as LSU, but they had better draws. Mm -hmm. So they were able to go all the way to the finals until they finally you know, we're beaten. See, I think that, that the draw has a lot to do with it. This is one of Coach Maneri's better teams uh, in the years that he's been here. They had eight drafted players. Uh, they tied the school record for wins. And uh, he did a great job, like you said. You see, every year he turns in a wonderful performance. The fans are terrific. Uh, the stadium's good. And he's a profit-making sport, which is very rare in America today outside of football and a little bit of basketball. We mentioned the Les Miles earlier. Let's go back to the LSU football program. Uh, LSU's coming off a loss, pretty tough week against Ole Miss. How do you think they bounce back from here? Well, I don't think there's much doubt that they'll bounce back. His record, you know, after a win is something like 30 and one, you know, after a loss, excuse me. Uh, he, he brings them back. That's one of the things he does very well. Now, he took uh, most of the blame for the long loss to Mississippi, and I get a chuckle. You know, we, won or the players won it but when you lose i you know lost it or i could have done something and they take all the pressure off the players and of course even the players know that's uh you know it's probably not true <laughs> uh you know you win because players play well and in this case uh, it's pretty obvious uh bo wallace the quarterback from old miss had the best game he ever played like aaron murray did when we lost the other one. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, our quarterback is outstanding as he is, is both on and off the field, didn't have as wonderful an afternoon as he could have for mm -hmm. sure. Maybe he will have this week. Well, with the defense, you said Bo Wallace had a great game, and then Ari Murray, like you said, with Georgia. Do you think that's an indication of where the weakness is with this team? Uh, I would say that it's just pretty obvious that we're inexperienced in the secondary, as you're pointing out. And they've been changing, you know, some people. I'm trying to get new guys in there. Right. And, of course, they've had, they had so many guys drafted as juniors 
last year, you know, record number. And it would be very tough to replace them quickly. Like, I would look uh, to the fact that uh, tradition never graduates. And we've had tradition of great defenses. We have a great defensive coordinator. And I'm sure that uh, they'll be back. And uh, I wouldn't say the game with Furman will be enough of a test. Uh, but then, of course, when we go to Alabama, we'll know. Going from today's game and onward, uh, where, where do you think the LSU football team, what's a realistic expectation for the rest of the season? A uh, realistic expectation for the rest of the season, by my standards, and probably not the coaches, is to um, uh, lose uh, one more game and win in a bowl, say, and be 9-3 and three for the season but 10 and three in a bowl. Now I've been to a bowl every single year and of course he'll go to another bowl. Mm -hmm. But winning in the bowl, whatever it is, is important. It's the last game of the year and then the fans start to get restless as it comes back. So uh, last year we lost by uh, kind of like that Mississippi game with right. the last second field goal and then a game that we could have won. You know, and I think we're better than that. And this year, you know, we'll do real well. Well, I know coaches always preach to their players not to look too far in advance, right. not to go past your current opponents. So let's talk a little bit about uh, their <laughs> opponent today, Furman. Apparently the spread is somewhere around 47 points. You think right. uh, LC will cover that? Uh, <laughs> well, that's good. Those, those odds makers are good. I mean, you know, they're pretty strong. Uh, the Palatins... Uh, it's a beautiful school. It's a private school. It's a beautiful school, you know, in Carolina. And the uh, it's the home of shoeless Joe Jackson, the famous baseball player. A New Orleans Pelican <laughs> at <right>. one point. <laughs> and the, uh, but they're, they don't recruit the same players we recruit. Sure. You know, and our guys are bigger and stronger. Now, if they played in baseball and you put a pitcher on the mound, all things are equal. Uh, but when in football, where the size and speed mm -hmm. make so much of it, the, the, the chances are you have to be off the board with no point spread or somewhere you know, at 47, which is about as high as it goes. <laughs> and uh, I, I wish people would understand everybody does that. You know, it isn't like LSU does it. Mm -hmm. You could say, well, gee, that's not fair. I'm going to pay money to see a game like this. The truth is uh, the team can't compete if there aren't some games in which they can win without using all, you know, 60 scholarship guys and without getting anybody hurt, you see, there's got to be a couple of guys that, uh, you know, stay healthy every week. And this is one way to do it. Well, we'll definitely look for some of those things to happen, hopefully, for today's game. Uh, Coach Bergman, thanks so much for coming on the show. Really sure, my it. pleasure. Thank you. It's great having you. So don't go anywhere. The Tiger TV Tailgate Show will be right back.